MTG plus AOC equals restraining order? Perhaps. I mean, this is absolute insanity in the House of Representatives. I'm not kidding here. Before I show you the info about the potential restraining order against Marjorie Taylor Greene from Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and show you what Pelosi just said and a bunch of other absolute craziness, let's go to what happened that started all of this. Now, you see, Marjorie Taylor Greene was uh, tweeting and making some statements about how the mask mandates, she says, are comparable to the Holocaust, which obviously set some people off. Then a local news outlet decided, let's ask her this question, put her feet to the fire. And here's her response. The American Jewish Congress has expressed concern over your comments comparing mask mandates to the Holocaust. Do you stand behind those comments? You know, here's what I, here's what I stand by. We shouldn't be having this kind of treatment. No one should be treated like a second-class citizen for saying I don't need to wear a mask or saying that my medical records are my privacy based on my HIPAA rights. And so I stand by all of my statements. I said nothing wrong. <laughs> and I think any, any rational Jewish person didn't like what happened in, in Nazi Germany. And any j rational Jewish person doesn't like what's happening with overbearing mask mandates and overbearing vaccine policies. Any rational Jewish person didn't like the Holocaust and doesn't like the mask mandates. I um, mean, this is this is real leap of logic that we're taking here. But what do you think about uh, MTG Marjorie Taylor Greene's original comment here that got her in trouble and her doubling down? She actually takes it takes it a step even further here. Do you understand though why some would be upset and offended by the comment? Well, do you understand how people feel about being forced to wear masks or being forced to have to take a vaccine or even have to say that whether they've taken it or not? These are just things that shouldn't be happening in America. This is a free country, and it's just ridiculous to have these kind of conversations. It's ridiculous to have these conversations, she says. But which side is most ridiculous? Well, GOP leader Kevin McCarthy says Marjorie is wrong. Here's his full statement from his website. Uh, Marjorie is wrong in her intentional decision to compare the horrors of the Holocaust with wearing masks is appalling. The Holocaust is the greatest atrocity committed in history. The fact that it needs to be stated is deeply troubling. Check this out wedged in there. At a time when the Jewish people face increased violence and threats, anti-Semitism is on the rise in the Democrat Party and is completely ignored by Speaker Pelosi. Americans must stand together and defeat anti-Semitism in any attempt to diminish the history of the Holocaust. Let me be clear, the House Republican Conference condemns this language. A restraining order, though? Is that really where we're going to get here? A potential restraining order? I don't know. Hit me up in the comments. Has there ever been a situation where two members of the House of Representatives, or the Senate for that matter, had a restraining order against one another? They couldn't, like, be in the same room even debating unless they were... They're going to have to put them on the very far fringes, depending on how far the restraining order would have one from the other. But Democrats are seriously considering this right now. AOC getting a restraining order against MTG. And they're saying that uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene has repeatedly targeted AOC, recently chasing her down a hallway in the Capitol. AOC called Greene deeply unwell earlier this month. Uh, top Democrats in Congress have discussed whether Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez could seek a restraining order against GOP Rep Marjorie Taylor Greene after the Republicans shouted at her colleague in the Capitol earlier this month. So they're really going back to this shouting, which they're calling verbal assault. And I think you're going to have a hard time finding a judge that sees two politicians screaming at each other as verbal assault. Now, I do not support, and I think Marjorie Taylor Greene's comments comparing the, the Holocaust to mask wearing and mask mandates. It's ridiculous, but when we call the, the interaction between two politicians where one is screaming at the other or, or saying something mean about the other one, a verbal assault, we ignore the entire history of politics, partisan politics in this country. We would shut down debate almost entirely if when one politician yelled at the other politician, it was considered a crime. You would have... In the House of Representatives, you would have one side with complete restraining orders against the other side, and that's not something doable in a democracy. 
but it would be interesting if it happened. What do you think about AOC and Democrats considering this restraining order against Marjorie Taylor Greene? Uh, she also retweeted this comment, which was directed at GOP leader Kevin McCarthy that we just talked about. And this person, American357, at a simple patriot, said, look, you moron, nobody supported Israel in their recent conflict with Hamas more than MTG. Her analogy may not have been perfect, but you seriously need to get a grip, you feckless C-word. Pelosi is the villain here, calling the GOP leader a moron and the C-word, and then gets a thank you from Marjorie Taylor Greene on Twitter. Thank you for seeing the truth uh, and how much I support Israel and stand against the left support for Hamas terrorists. Asked about this, Nancy Pelosi had some comments. Mostly it was to MTG, shut your mouth. Speaker, do you have any response to Marjorie Taylor Greene's comments comparing the Holocaust to your mask mandates? It's so beyond reprehensible that it's, I mean, it, it has no place in our country. Do you think she should be expelled or censured because of it, madam? I think that she should stop talking, Pelosi says, as she walks down the hallway. What do you think about this whole drama explosion between MTG and AOC? Do you think that what we have here is worthy of one person getting a restraining order against the other person? Uh, what do you think about Marjorie Taylor Greene's comments to begin with? Your thoughts on everything below. Uh, if you like this video, please hit that share button to spread the conversation even further. If you're new around here, over on Facebook.com slash The News Junkie, hit follow for a video just like this every day. Something big happening in the world of news right to you. Over on YouTube, hit subscribe, and we'll talk to you again real soon.